Number 1, you're a priority to him. Any man who wants to be with you, will make you a priority. No matter what's going on in his life, he'll find a way to make time for you. You'll notice this most when he has to shuffle his schedule around, because he wants to be there for you, even just for a single date night. Number 2, he likes spending time with you. This is one of the most obvious signs he is emotionally attached to you. He will use his free time which was usually reserved for relaxation for you. He will go and hang out with you because he likes you, and he definitely has some feelings for you. I know, some of you may say, it's because he thinks he can have sex with you, but what if you've took sex off the table? What then? If he still hangs out with you, does it mean that he is with you only because he is interested in taking advantage of you? You see, it doesn't because he really has no ulterior motive. Your relationship is not physical, it's not sexual, because you are not friends with benefits, so you can be sure he is not in it for the sex. He is in it because he likes you. Number 3, he's introduced you to his friends and family. It's really scary to meet someone's friends and family. What if you don't like them? What if they don't like you? No one is going to put themselves through that, or their significant other through that, unless they've got investment into that person, and into where the relationship is going. Plus, if he's considering committing and taking the relationship to the next level, how well you get along, and mesh with his family and friends is going to be important to him, just like it's important to you, how well he gets along with your family. So, if he's made a point to introduce you to his friends and family, that's a very good sign. It means he wants you to meet all the important people in his life, because you're becoming an important person in his life. Number 4, he tells you intimate details about him and his life. When you two sit down to talk, and he divulges deep and meaningful information about his life, he's already hooked. Guys don't just go around dishing out that kind of stuff on a whim. It means he trusts you, and wants you to know a deeper side of him. That's usually because he wants to know a deeper side of you, and is already attached to you. Letting you inside his world is huge. Number 5, he gives you a look that's both happy and teary-eyed. You know that look you get, when you're looking at something that you've always wanted, and finally have. That's the look a man gives when he's deeply in love with a woman. It's a look of bliss, adoration, and at the same time, admiration. That look is one that can't easily be replicated, even by top actors in Hollywood. It's rare to actually see a guy give this look in person, but once you see it, it'll become unmistakable for the rest of your life. Before we continue, I have a special training guide for women's, about what men want you to know, but will never tell you. Check the link in the description to know more. Places are limited. You'll feel like you have x-ray vision into any man's mind. Number 6, you have great conversations. One of the foundations of a solid relationship, is to be able to talk about things that light you both up. Maybe it's your shared love of anime, or 18th century Russian literature. Whatever that shared interest is, you and he love engaging in thought-provoking dialogue. There's never a lull in the conversation. He challenges you to think and learn. Who needs that with a fling? This is the stuff boyfriends are made of. Number 7, he asks for your opinion. He really cares about what you think. Whenever he needs help, he knows he can come to you. He knows you won't judge him, or tell him I told you so. He knows you'll help him as much as you can. When he needs advice, he will seek yours, because he knows that you will do your best to give him a suggestion that is in his interest. He likes the way you think and he respects your thoughts, that's why he wants to hear your opinion. Number 8, he calls and texts first. He wants to keep up communication with you. This is just something guys do, when they're into you in general. He'll be the one to initiate conversations, dates, and the like. The more he does this, the more attached he really is. Number 9, he wants to commit to you. You know what kind of man wants commitment from a girl? The kind of man who is seriously enamored with the girl he wants to commit to. If you were to ask the vast majority of men out there, they'd tell you that they aren't afraid of commitment. Rather, 
they're petrified of committing to the wrong girl. If the guy you're seeing is pushing for commitment, it's a sign that he's emotionally attached to the point, that he thinks you're the one, or at the very least, better than any other girls around him. Number 10, you can be totally genuine around each other. The biggest factor to whether a relationship goes the distance or falls apart, is compatibility. If you're compatible with each other, generally you can make things work. If not, things are going to eventually crumble. Here are 7 signs, to know if you and your partner are compatible or not. To get access to the latest from Lifestyle Therapy, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. Number 1, you know things about each other no one else does. From your embarrassing stories to intimate details about your life, sharing secrets can show how compatible you and your partner really are. Honesty is important in a relationship, but actually wishing to tell them secrets, shows your partner that you are truly invested in the relationship. Number 2, you share common interests. While it is important to have your own hobbies and interests, compatible partners make the effort to spend time together doing things they both enjoy. Having common ground with a partner, helps in long-term relationships, from supporting the same team, to cooking together, to sharing a love of the same TV show. Number 3, you can both imagine a future together. It is always useful to be on the same page as your partner. Having different interests isn't a problem, your partner could love traveling, and you could aspire to get married and have children, and you can do both. But if your partner doesn't want to talk about a future together, it might be that you have different expectations from the relationship. Number 4, you can be yourself around your partner. If you and your partner are compatible, you should be able to truly be yourself whenever you are around them. Whether you feel happy, hyper, sad or angry, you should be able to comfortably express these emotions to your partner, without worrying about the consequences. Number 5, you're attracted to each other. While sex obviously isn't everything, it's important to be physically intimate with your partner. From holding hands to kissing, compatible couples regularly show each other affection. In other words, there should be a spark, even if it is small. Number 6, you keep your relationship fresh. Everyone in the world is aging, but that doesn't mean their relationships have to age, too. Often work, having children and other responsibilities can sideline your relationship. These responsibilities are important and shouldn't be neglected, but put aside some time to focus on your partner. Your relationship should always feel important. Number 7, your friends and family know them well. If you're in a great relationship, you should be excited to show your partner off around your friends and family. It also shows they are actively involved in your life, which is a great sign for a happy relationship. If the people you are close to haven't met your partner, ask yourself who's to blame for this, your partner, you, or the people you are close to? I hope you enjoyed the video, if you find it useful, don't forget to share it, and make sure to subscribe to see more video in the future. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.